The MR Area Spot. In order to use this, we have to make sure that we set up our render setup. We got to go to our render setup. Want to make sure this render is set to, to our Navita Mental Ray, not the standard default scan render. We need to make sure that we go over to the Mental Ray here, uh, and and so that's got to be done first. That's what the MR stands for in the MR Area Spot. Next, uh, we're going to come over here into our control panel, go to create. We're going to go to our light tab. We're going to make sure we're in the standard drop down. We're going to come in here and we're going to choose a MR area spot. And we pick on that. And now we're going to come in here and choose a location. Hold my left mouse button down. I'm going to choose a spotlight and I'm going to park it right at my light at my teapot here. I'm going to let go and I'm going to right click. Now I like to reposition sometimes after I'm done so I'm going to come along and reposition here and I'm going to actually come over here and kind of reposition just so that uh, we all can see this a little better here. Okay. Maybe we can go like that even, right? There. Now we can see it a little better here. Okay. And so now I have a spotlight on my uh, teapot. And this is a mental ray spotlight. I can go and click on the spotlight, go to modify. And when I go to modify, I end up with all these different parameters. We've looked at these in other videos, um, but the one I want to go down to is the area light parameters and pick on that. I can turn it on or off if I want. I can show the icon in the render, so this will have a little symbol, um, and I, I don't like it. You know, you have to run the rendering. If you turn this on, when you run a render, it puts a little symbol in your rendering. I don't want that in my rendering, but that's up to you. Uh, the type, uh, we can have a rectangle type or a disk. So the rectangle here, we got the size and width of our rectangle, of how big we want that. So I can say I want it to be more of a rectangle than a square type thing. Um, if I go with the disk, It'll ask me for the radius of the disk. All right. If I have samples uh, down here, the samples, the larger the number uh, for the samples, that will be to define how the quality of the uh, of my shadows. So you want to kick those up if you want uh, a better quality of shadows. And the U spinner is for uh, the number of subdivisions along in the in the radius. For the height, uh, and in the in the V, we have the angular subdivisions. So kicking this up, get more computational time, but it it improves the quality of your shadow. Okay, so I'm going to go with a rectangle here, and I'm going to go up and do a quick render here. We'll run the render, and there we have it. We got our nice little rendering here of our teapot with a MR area spotlight.